Why do some Victorian children get greater protection than others on their way to and from school? 40 kilometre speed zones were introduced to keep children safe, but currently there are 148 schools across Victoria where the speed limit is 60 kilometres per hour. You might think that those schools own rural areas, but some can be found in Melbourne suburbs, including two in the same stretch of Sunshine Avenue here in Melbourne's west. RACV believes all school zones should be 40 kilometres per hour. This is a really big stretch of road, there's two lanes, I think that there's lots of kids. It's not even just our school, there's other schools in the area too where kids cross over Sunshine Avenue, so I think if it was at 40 it'd be much safer. There is a simple solution to dropping the school zone speed limit to 40 kilometres per hour on high speed roads. With proper signage to pre-warn drivers and by staggering the speed reduction from 80 to 60 to 40, there is no reason why motorists cannot reduce their speed safely. The costs will be minimal, involving a few fixed signs and using existing variable speed limit signs. Child pedestrians are at an increased risk of injury because unlike adults, they are less developed physically, cognitively and in terms of their traffic experience. Every child in Victoria matters. Their safety needs to be protected and that is why Parents Victoria supports the campaign to ensure that every Victorian school has a 40k speed limit. Well, the children don't have the skills, the patience, the awareness to deal with the traffic and so it's up to the drivers to, to look after the children. The best way to do this is by slowing down around all schools. Experts tell us if pedestrians are hit at 60 kilometres per hour, they have a 95% chance of dying. However, if the pedestrian is hit at 40 kilometres per hour, the chances of survival increase significantly. I would fully support uh, a move to be 40 kilometres per hour in all school zones in Victoria. This is something which is simple, easy, and to me, the motorist, completely free. That's why speed limits outside all Victorian schools should be 40 kilometres per hour.